एवरीवन वेलकम टू टूरल जारी सो दिस इज द कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ प्रीवियस पोस्ट वे वी हैव टॉक अबाउट द टू जनरल प्रॉब्लम सो इन दिस वीडियो एंड इन दिस ब्लॉग व्हिच यू सी राइट नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट वेंजेंटाइन जनरल प्रॉब्लम सो बिफोर यू रियली जंप टू दिस टॉपिक एंड बिफोर यू गो टू वेंजेंटाइन फॉल्ट टॉलरेंस एंड जनरल प्रॉब्लम I would really recommend you to go to the previous video or the previous blog. Maybe talk about two general problem. So where we have shown with example, what is that problem and how that is being unsolved as of today. Because that is uh, important to understand before you really jump to this uh, blog post or this video. So when we talk about the Benjamin general problem, or uh, this is also known as. Uh, how we can solve this which is known as benjamin fault tolerance so that is benjamin general problem is a advanced version of two general problem so in the two general problem as we discussed there are two only two generals that they have to coordinate a timing only so the challenge which we were facing in the last problem was timing so they have to be on the sync on timing that at what time they have to attack the enemy so that they both can attack at same time and they can bond the battle but when we say this is a advanced version so this has more complexity like in this case we don't have only two generals what we have here we have a commander and lieutenants are there many right so there can be multiple generals involved in this case which is benjamin general problem and here one more complexity is there <coughs> they need not to only think on the timing but out of multiple journals one can be a traitor okay so he may be a traitor or he or she may be a traitor so we have to consider all these things that is the benjamin general problem where you have multiple journals and they have to think on timing plus they have to make sure that if anyone is traitor that will not affect uh the strategy and they still go ahead and won the battle right so now the question comes that how this can be achieved how this can be solved how this can problem can be solved so this is solved by using benjamin fault tolerance okay so what this says what this uh, fault tolerance says that the consensus is reached consensus we already talk about in the last last video that we are parties multiple parties agreed upon one outcome so here when we say benjamin fault tolerance here what that mean the consensus is reached when out of uh when two third of people are honest okay so when i say out of 100% if i have two third of people are honest then my consensus is reached okay and there can be one third of people can be traitor that is fine right but if the traitor are more than one third then the consensus will never ever reached in this scenario that is benjamin fault tolerance that is very straight forward if you are honest people are two third or more than two third you are good to go if it's not then you will stop you you, you will not go forward right so this is here so but let's try to understand from here so i have shared one link here the link so this link will talk about in a detail like uh, this link has the more detail about this has covered about that uh, general problem in a detail but uh, we have just taken the main point from this guide and just try to put it here with some examples so this is not an example which we have made this is a uh, being referred from this link only so let's take about two example two scenarios here let's assume that we have a scenario we have a commander and we have three left uh, lieutenants here lieutenant 1 2 and 3 and out of three lieutenants we have one lieutenant is traitor okay so he is going to pass the fa false information let's take the scenario now we are taking the case of lieutenant 2 what he should do okay so let's take this scenario what happened here so commander will pass a command to each lieutenant like let's attack 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 okay so attack command is being passed to all the uh, lieutenant from a commander 
Now, Lieutenant One has received an attack command. Two also received an attack command. Three has also received an attack command from a commander. So Lieutenant One will pass the same command to Lieutenant Two because he is a honest Lieutenant. Okay, but now the Lieutenant Three is a traitor. He will fold. He will pass the wrong information. So he will say no attack because he is a traitor. Now, what Lieutenant Two should do? So now you can see, out of three command, two commands are attack command. So, as we just discussed in the verb section, when two two third of people are on the one side, we will go with that. So here also, out of three, two are saying attack. So Lieutenant Two will go with the attack only. He will not go with the no attack. So this is how this is being worked out in the Benjamin fault tolerance. Let's take one more scenario where the commander itself is a traitor. Okay, so what will happen here? So this is a bit a more lengthy scenario where commander is a traitor. So he will send different command to each lieutenant. Okay, so he will send attack tomorrow to the lieutenant one, attack now to the lieutenant two, and no attack to the lieutenant three. Right? So he is sending a different information to each lieutenant so that they are not in sync. Right? So we assume that all the lieutenant are honest; they are not traitor. So lieutenant one will pass the same information which he has received to lieutenant two, and so on, right? So if you just take the scenario here, so lieutenant one is sending attack tomorrow to lieutenant two and three because he has got an information from the commander. Lieutenant two is passing the information attack now to both the command, both lieutenant one and three, and same with lieutenant three also. He is sending no attack. Now let's take about any lieutenant here. So if you take lieutenant one, so what he has, he has attack tomorrow, attack now, and no attack. So he has three different informations, right? So here there is no two-third majority. So he will say, I will not go anywhere. I will retreat, right? So he will not participate. He will not go further because. The majority we need is two third, which is not there for any other lieutenant. So in this case, commander will not proceed. So he will not be successful in his mission because the people know, right? So the command which you, which they have received is not correct. We have some traitor, and they will they will retreat. Okay. So this is the Benjamin fault uh, tolerance. So this is how we handle the Benjamin general problem. Okay, so this is very basic example which we have given from this link, which try to make you aware that what is this all about and how is this being handled. I'm hopeful that you like this video, and now you got some idea about the Benjamin fault tolerance, how this is being worked out in the blockchain. Thanks for watching.